Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Start menu has been reintroduced in Windows 10. The new Windows 10 Start menu is a hybrid of the Start menu found in Windows 7 or earlier and the Start screen from Windows 8. If viewing the desktop in Windows 10, you can view the Start menu by clicking the Start button, which has the Windows logo on it, in the lower left corner of the screen within the Windows taskbar. Alternately, you can press the Windows key on your keyboard to display the Start menu at any time. By default, the left side of the Start menu shows a column of information that contains your username, a list of your most used apps and software programs, links to the File Explorer, Settings, Power, and an All Apps link. This side of the menu is designed to resemble the older Start menu from Windows 7. By default, the right side of the Start menu shows a listing of commonly used apps within two default sections named Life at a Glance and Play and Explore. This side of the Start menu is designed to resemble the Start screen found in Windows 8. You can change the size of the Start menu to resemble the old Start screen from Windows 8. To change the size of the Start menu, place your mouse pointer over the edge of the Start menu until you see a white double-pointed arrow appear. At that point, click and drag in either direction shown by the arrow to increase or reduce the size of the Start menu. You will now learn the actions that you can take within the Start menu in Windows 10 from top to bottom and left to right. After displaying the Start menu, you can click your username shown in the upper left corner to display a drop-down menu of account choices. To change your account settings, select the Change Account Settings link. To lock the computer and show the lock screen, choose the lock link. To sign out of the computer, select the Sign Out link. To switch user accounts, select the name of the user account you want to use from the list to switch to the sign-in screen for that user. To close the menu without making any choices, simply click your username again. Below that, you can click any of the program icons shown within the Most Used list to open the associated app or software program. You can open the File Explorer window by clicking the File Explorer link in the Start menu. For any of the most used apps that contain a jump list, or for the File Explorer jump list, you can click the jump list button that looks like a right pointing arrow at the right side of the associated link within the Start menu to display a jump list of the most recently opened documents or folders for the selected link in a side menu. You can then click the file or folder shown to open it from the Start menu. Note that you can also open the Settings window for Windows 10 by selecting the Settings link in the Start menu. To select from options for powering off the computer, click the power link in the start menu. You can select the sleep choice in the menu that appears to place the computer into sleep mode. To shut down the computer, select the shut down choice from the menu. To restart the computer, select the restart command in the menu. To close the menu without making a choice, click the power link once again. To view all of the apps and software installed on your computer, click the all apps link. An alphabetical listing of all of the apps will then appear within the left side of the start menu. You can click on an app icon to open the associated app, or you can also click the back link within the Start menu to return to the default Start menu. You can click any app icon shown in the live tiles that appear at the right side of the Start menu to open them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.